I am li quite literally, if you follow my channel, you know that this is going to be my happy place. Check this out. So I am following behind a camel library today here in Gwadar. This is a wonderful initiative that was started in 2020. When I'm not completely out of breath from keeping up with a camel, I will explain more in detail. But there are currently four camel libraries and this wonderful project is looking to expand all across Balochistan. These camels deliver books to children who, since the pandemic, have not been able to attend school. It's a wonderful initiative that's garnered a ton of media coverage all around the world because it's so unique and so special and doing so much good. So we are going to go deliver some books to some wonderful kids. <sighs> Get completely out of breath it seems. I had food poisoning last night and I am wiped out just to begin with um, because I only got about half a night's sleep and the other half was brutal. But let's Oh, let's do this. Hold on. Let me show you my view now. I've got camel butt. One sec. The Alif Laila Book Bus Society is something very, very special and such a, a beautiful concept to have thought of uh, to begin with. The camel that I was following, I drove about an hour from Gwadar, just under an hour to reach the location. And then it was about a three kilometer trek that I did not make uh, 100%. I really was a bit unwell. So I hopped into a car and then flew the drone and did some other things aside from just walking along. But it was just so peaceful out in the desert. And all you heard was the sound of the bells on the sweet camel. And if you follow my channel, you know how much I love camels. So it was pure heaven. There are more camel libraries coming up. Um, it's a regular caravan now with about seven sweet and gentle camels and there are about three more gentle giants that are being uh, trained and everything all of the processes put in place in the localities for them to start in new areas soon as well. Now I'm going to put a link to their website and to their Facebook page and if you could please donate. Um, I did my best to connect them to the different districts in Balochistan where I had connections to see if, if I could help them in some way. Um, just because I've spent so much time in Balochistan, I have made some good friends that could, you know, push, push this project through to the right people. So hopefully there'll be lots more camel libraries to come. But there was one thing that they posted on Facebook that I thought was just wonderful that I want to read because I feel like it sums up their mission and what they try to teach to the children. And that's this, that libraries are about freedom, freedom to read, freedom of ideas, freedom of communication. They're about education, about entertainment, about making safe spaces and about access to information. And these children, I can tell you the day I was there, they were so excited for the camel to arrive. The gentleman who uh, was the liaison <laughs> between the camel and the children as well, between the library and the children, had a gentle spirit about him as well. He would ask the children, did you read the full book? How did you like it? He would look at the book with them to make sure that there was no damage to the book. 
reinforcing the idea that books are precious and that they needed to uh, take care of them when they had them in their possession. And they all did. I never saw one that was wrinkled up or written in. It was just, it was a gift for the children. It was a gift for all of us who were there to witness it. I send a big, big, big thank you to the entire team at the NGO itself and Basarat, who is the founder. Um, Basarat Kazazim is just a lovely person. And um, I wish you all the best. Give a big kiss to the camels from me. And guys, I will see you in the next video.